Hello, fat fans. Welcome to Reese's World. So, I guess you guys have heard about the rumors already floating around about Vladimir Klitschko, the former WBA, WBO, IBF, IBO, everweight king of the whole universe. You know, I'm coming back to boxing, and、uh, being offered a huge sum of amount of money by Dazon. Um, actually, David Price has already, you know, put himself out there. That if Klitschko, Klitschko actually returns, he would like to get the opportunity to fight the legend. You know, we've heard the huge numbers Klitschko has been offered by the Zone. Huge, huge, huge numbers. Do I think Klitschko will return? I actually cannot tell, but I have heard rumors, you know, especially from the German、uh, boxing fans, who have told me that Klitschko might return very soon. Is just considering the money and everything in place right now, and he's been offered the sum of ninety-two. Million pounds, okay? It's a deal. It's a deal. So, I've heard rumors that he has signed it, but I don't know. You know, nothing is signed, and nothing is official until it is it has been announced by the people involved. We know this one has money. People keep wondering. How come Dazon spends so much money and all this stuff? Well, Dazon is owned by a billionaire. What do you expect? And I actually support them. I support their movement. I support the the fact that they want to make boxing a huge and bigger sport than it already is. Is that something wrong? But you have guys like Bob Harum. Talking crack about Dazon. ESPN might be huge in America, but outside of America and some Latin American countries, nobody know who the fuck ESPN is or what the fuck ESPN is. Top Rank is a huge company, definitely, but outside America, it isn't. The world. Does not revolve around America. The world does not revolve around America. By the way, I like America in a way. You know, I've got friends, family members there, and it's a good country. But the world is bigger than America. There's one thing Bob Harum, Ahiman, Shalafinko has to know. I mean, let's just take. Shall I think, of, for example, Anna Heyman? Can you tell me the any fighter you have been able, any African fighter you have managed to promote to uplift his career to the continent of where they're from? Their magnetic power is just to, you know, showcase the the fighters to the American audience. That's What they want to do—that's their aim, and it's just the fact. But you know, Americans don't really support foreigners, except they see that foreigner is actually really good. You know, America, like I said yesterday about Ajaba being a dumbass. America is not going to support you. You know. 
you had like a slave to Shelefinko is, in my opinion, disgusting as a Nigerian and as a person who come from the land which actually fought of slavery in Nigeria, the Bini Empire. But hey, Nigeria is a huge country with different tribes and different mentality. But Nigeria still has that spirit of togetherness, the spirit of fighting for themselves, the spirit of not being the guy who is being looked upon, looked down on. And Germans want to be independent and have always been. So, Klitschko coming back, and that has actually triggered a lot of these boxing promoters and managers talking shit about it. Believe me, Klitschko can beat the underwater right now. He will beat him fair and square, no debate and no contest. You look at Klitschko age and say, well, he's 42 now. Oh, for the three, he's gonna he's getting older and other stuff. Klitschko has a lot of experience, and Joshua almost lost to Klitschko. I just watched back that fight a few days ago. Joshua won that fight by God's grace. I'm just telling the truth. And Joshua learned a lot from that fight. That one fight changed Joshua's mentality. Joshua did know that hey, I've got to work on my skills. And that's why you, when you see Joshua fight after that, he actually wanted to box before he knocked you out. And when he fought, uh, the same people that used to that used to say Joshua is one dimensional, Joshua is a guy that just go knock people out, started saying, "Well, he's so boring, he's so boring," because Joshua wanted to box, wanted to show people that he can box. He's not just a power puncher. He's a skillful boxer who can easily outsmart you at any given time. Until he knocked out Poetkin, these people did not believe Joshua can do that anymore. Because they say, well, Klitschko took something out of him. <laughs> I love the Chinese. Now, Klitsch, not a word of honor. Klitschko is going to come back. Hopefully he does. People keep saying that the deal is already made, the deal is already done. Well, nothing is done until proven. So we'll just see what happens. But I think Klitschko, if he comes back, he's going to be a huge player. And I've been hearing, you know, fans and members of Water, of Team Water, saying that, well, if Klitschko come back, Water will fight him and want to fight him more stuff. The same Klitschko, all those guys deezed, right? Why does Water have to f always want to fight old men? Like, not old men, like people who he know don't really pose a threat. But, if, but the thing is that Klitschko poses a threat. Even at his current age, he's still very dangerous and can still beat onto Water. Still.